Welcome back to Pasha Pilates. I have an exciting announcement. This is my first original piece of music playing in the background, specifically created for Pasha Pilates. From this point onwards, all the music will be original and will soon be available on all digital streaming platforms. Grab your mat and let's begin with this Pilates Yoga Fusion No Equipment Workout. Let's start on all fours, your knees directly under and in line with your hips, your hands and wrists directly under and in line with your shoulders, a flat back and lengthen those shoulders down away from the ears, head and neck in line with your spine. Placing your left hand onto your shoulder, let's start warming up the shoulders with a shoulder roll. Let's circle the elbow forward, four and three, and two, all the way around, big circle, and one. Let's circle it to the back. We go, four, and three, all the way around, big circle, two, and one. Good, placing that hand back down. Let's go straight onto the other side, right hand onto your shoulder. Now let's circle the elbow backwards this time, a big shoulder roll, leading with the elbow, big circles, three, and two and one let's circle the arm forwards we circle forward leading with the elbow as big of a circle as possible really warming up that shoulder last one all the way around and placing the hand back down onto the mat let's warm up the whole body now tucking your toes in underneath you inhale and as you exhale we are going to lift the knees two centimeters up off the mat and replace them back down onto the mat. We lift and lower, repeat, lift and lower. Four more, maintaining that flat back and sinking your belly button up towards your spine. Last two, lift and lower, last one we lift and hold. Let's hold this position with our knees lifted for another five, four, three, two, one, and now let's gently push back up into our downward facing dog. Your legs and feet are hip width distance apart. You are gently pressing the heels down towards the mat, lifting those tailbones up towards the ceiling. Ears in line with biceps and lengthen those shoulders down away from the ears. Let's start to walk it out. Inhale, and as you exhale, press your right heel into the mat, stretching that leg as best as you can. Without the hips moving, we press the left heel down into the mat and stretch that leg. We change, good, last one and change. Now we're going to continue to walk like that, but now use your hips. So sink into that hip. Good, three more, we walk, press and stretch. Pressing the heel, stretching the leg, sinking into that hip and last one and back to your downward facing dog. Good, just press those heels, stretch the legs and breathe. Let's go into our three-legged dog. So inhale and as you exhale, let's take our right leg up towards the ceiling. Three-legged dog. From here, bringing it forward, knee towards your chin, curling the spine and then back up into your three-legged dog. Again, we go chin to chest and extend to three-legged dog. Exhale as you bring the knee towards the chin and back into your three-legged dog as you inhale. Exhale, bringing the knee towards the chin, push-up position and back to your downward facing dog. Last one, bringing that knee towards the chin and placing the foot into your high lunge. Placing your knee down onto the mat and tuck the toes, pressing the hips down towards the mat. Inhale and as you exhale, float those arms up towards the ceiling. Make sure your ankle is directly under and in line with your knee, pressing those hips down towards the mat and breathe. Chest up towards the ceiling. Good, and gently replacing the hands back down onto the mat. Tuck your toes back in and gently lift the knee straight up off the mat. Make sure your back leg is straight and stretched. Inhale, and as you exhale, reach your right arm up towards the ceiling, twisting and rotating that upper body. Looking up towards the hand, keeping those hips as square and stable as possible. Inhale, and as you exhale, let's lift that upper body, opening the arms and twisting and rotating that upper body. 
Inhale and as you exhale, reach your right arm to your back leg. Lift your left arm up towards the ceiling. And now let's slowly float our arms back down, hands onto the mat next to your foot. And let's push back into our push-up position and then slowly lower down into your upward facing dog with the thighs and knees lifted up off the mat. Inhale and as you exhale, push back into your downward facing dog. Let's go straight into the other side. So let's lift our left leg up towards the ceiling into our three-legged dog. And as you exhale, bring the knee forward towards your chin, rounding your spine, and then lift it back up into your three-legged dog. We go knee to chin and three-legged dog. Sink that belly button towards the spine. And as you push back into your three-legged dog, really stretch that leg and press the heel down into the mat. Last one. Good, and bring that knee towards the chin and place that foot down into your lunge position. Lacing your back knee down onto the mat and tuck your toes. Inhale, and as you exhale, press the hips down towards the mat and float those arms up towards the ceiling. Really trying to get that chest to look up towards the ceiling. Lengthen the shoulders down away from the ears. And breathe, pressing those hips down towards the mat. Placing the hands back down onto the mat, tuck your toes back in underneath you and stretch your back leg, lifting your knee up off the mat. Inhale and as you exhale, let's lift our left arm up towards the ceiling, twisting and rotating that upper body. Really trying to lift up and out of that bottom shoulder. Inhale and as you exhale, let's lift the entire upper body opening the arms and twisting and rotating that upper body to the left inhale and as you exhale let's take our left arm to our back leg and reach our right arm up towards the ceiling really trying to get that chest to look up towards the ceiling good and float the arms back down onto the mat next to the foot pressing back into your push-up position and let's lower back down into our upward facing dog Untuck the toes, lift the knees and thighs, chest up towards the ceiling. Good, and gently lower the knees and push back into your praying crouch. Your bum back onto your heels, stretch your arms out, relax your forehead onto the mat. Good, and just breathe. From here, let's slowly lift back up onto all fours, lowering back down onto our tummy, up on our elbows. Make sure the elbows are directly under and in line with your shoulders. Tuck your toes in underneath you, inhale, and as you exhale, lift your body up into your elbow plank. Body one long line, and sink that belly button up towards the spine. Make sure your head and neck is in line with your spine, and breathe. Let's work our obliques. So inhale, and as you exhale, take the hips down towards the mat on one side, and back to the center to inhale. Exhale, other side, and center to inhale, we go, hips dip, and center. We go, hip dips, and center. Just six more, you've got this. Keep your upper body as stable as possible and really sink that belly button up towards the spine. Inhale in the center, exhale to dip. Good, keep it going. Last one, and center. From here, let's slowly lower all the way down onto our tummy, untuck the toes and lift the upper body, getting that chest to look up towards the ceiling. Inhale and as you exhale, slowly lower all the way down and let's roll over onto our side. Body one long line, your bottom arm is flat and straight on the mat and your left hand in front of you for support. Rest your ear on your bicep, inhale and as you exhale, lifting our top leg, we lift our bottom leg and slowly lower both legs together. Repeat, we lift, lift and lower. Four more, really working those inner thighs. Keep lengthening the shoulders down away from the ears, maintaining a stable upper body. Sink that belly button towards the spine and stretch and extend and lengthen those legs. Good, last one like that and lower inhale now as you exhale lift both legs up off the mat and lower just five more we exhale to lift both legs and lower 
sinking the belly button squeezing those inner thighs together and really stretching the legs lifting them straight up towards the ceiling as high as you can last one lift and lower good work now let's lift up onto our elbow making sure the elbow is directly under and in line with your shoulder let's take our left hand towards the back of our head elbow open inhale and as you exhale let's lift up into our elbow plank and hold your feet are flexed you are really lifting your hips as high as you can straight up to the ceiling let's take our left arm up towards the ceiling and hold we are just breathing connecting those ribs sinking the belly button lifting the hips almost there and slowly lower all the way back down really good work let's go straight over onto the other side body one long line your bottom arm is flat on the mat and straight your right hand in front of you on your fingertips for support stretch and straighten your legs and feet take a big breath in and as you exhale lift your top leg lift your bottom leg and lower them both down together we go lift lift and lower four more lifting the top leg using those inner thighs to squeeze together good connect those ribs sink the belly button lifting those legs as high as you can we lift lift and lower last one we lift lift and lower good job let's go straight into our double leg lifts and lower we go double leg lift squeezing those inner thighs together four more trying to keep our upper body stable stretch and straighten those legs lifting them up towards the ceiling as high as you can last one we go lift and lower let's now lift straight up onto our elbow let's flex our feet take your right hand to the back of your head elbow open inhale and as you exhale lift those hips straight up to the ceiling and hold lifting our right arm up towards the ceiling and let's hold this elbow plank big breaths in and exhale connecting the ribs sinking that belly button to the spine lifting the hips good and lower let's roll over to be seated and then let's lower down onto our elbows making sure the elbows are directly under and in line with our shoulders inhale and as you exhale let's lift both legs up to a double bug position and we lower them down to hover just above the mat we lift and lower to hover really working those abs we lift and lower three more we lift to inhale and exhale to hover the toes just above the mat lift sinking that belly button as you lower last one we lift and hold from here let's extend both legs straight at 45 and bend to inhale exhale double leg extension and bend to inhale good just three more really lifting up and out of those shoulders sinking the belly button to the spine exhale as you extend inhale last one we extend and hold we are just going to hold this here for a few seconds really stretching those legs sinking the belly button lifting up and out of those shoulders and bend good job replacing the feet onto the mat and let's get into those triceps inhale and as you exhale press the hands into the mat to sit up tall stretching the arms and bend the elbows all the way back down onto the mat we press and stretch to lift up and bend the elbows making sure the elbows are facing directly straight backwards the entire time three more we press and lift and bend with the elbows going backwards we press and lift good keep lifting up and out of those shoulders lengthening through the spine and hold from here let's go straight into our reverse tabletop so let's squeeze the glutes lift the hips straight up to the ceiling and lower as you inhale exhale we lift make sure the head and neck stays in line with the spine and lower as you inhale squeeze the glutes lift those hips up to the ceiling as high as you can good just three more we lift and lower to inhale squeeze and lift connect those ribs sink the belly button good last one we lift 
and hold from here hold your reverse tabletop we lift our right leg to a bug position and replace it to inhale exhale lift your left leg and lower just four more lift replace good and lift replace keep squeezing those glutes lifting the hips as high as you can up to the ceiling good last one and lift and lower good gently lower the bum all the way back down onto the mat release your arms and slowly roll all the way back down onto your back vertebra by vertebra bring those knees in towards the chest grab a hold of your elbows forearms or wrists and squeeze those knees in we are almost there let's finish up with our core single leg stretch let's interlace our fingers placing our hands over our left knee squeeze your knee into your chest and extend your right leg straight at 45 degrees inhale and as you exhale lift your upper body up off the mat into your curl let's change legs we go change and change keeping that upper body lifted up off the mat sinking the belly button to the spine good squeezing the knee in really extending the leg just 14 more really lifting that upper body up off the mat good breathe make sure you take big deep breaths in and exhale sinking that belly button six five four three and two good and one bringing both knees into the chest inhale and as you exhale let's go straight into our double leg stretch extending both legs and arms good nine more we keep lifting that upper body up off the mat as high as you can in your curl extending both legs straight at 45 degrees arms going overhead with the ears in line with your biceps really sink that belly button to the spine curl and lift that upper body squeezing the knees into the chest almost there last three good and two last one and bring those knees into the chest beautiful relaxing the upper body back down onto the mat and again squeeze those knees into the chest and breathe inhale and as you exhale think of sticking your bum out as you squeeze your knees into your chest really stretching out and getting deep into those hip flexors and from here let's gently release relax both legs all the way down onto the mat completely flat relaxed arms at your sides and let's just take a few deep breaths in and out let's take three more big deep breaths completely relaxing the entire body from head to toe let it all go beautiful let's slowly start to gain our awareness back open your eyes if they were closed and let's slowly bend our legs roll over onto our side to sit up and be seated on our mats find yourself a comfortable seated position and let's stretch out those arms and shoulders extend your right arm out to the side and take it over straight across the chest bringing your left arm underneath your right arm by your elbow inhale and as you exhale really press the left hand towards you stretching your right arm so you can feel that pull and stretch along the right shoulder relax your shoulders down away from the ears and gently release taking that right hand to your upper back left hand onto your right elbow and gently pull that right arm downwards
and gently release straight over onto the other side let's extend our left arm take it across our chest right arm underneath against the elbow breathe in and as you exhale press that left arm towards you make sure that left arm is really straight and stretched and you are relaxing that shoulder down away from the ears good and gently release taking that left hand straight towards your upper back right hand onto your elbow big breath in and as you exhale let's pull that elbow downwards really trying to walk that hand down your back and release let's end off with our breath inhale let's reach the arms all the way up towards the ceiling into our prayer hands bring the hands down towards your heart good as you inhale reach those arms up towards the ceiling into your prayer hands and exhale to bring the hands down towards your heart reaching those arms up towards the ceiling big breath in and exhale to bring the hands to your heart last one inhale and exhale thank yourself for bringing yourself to your mat today to take care of you and your body mind and soul thank you so much for joining me today and see you soon